words echo down the centuries. The harder it is to believe, the louder, more insistently we shout them. It won't happen. Every morning I go to fetch water. Most mornings I don't think about the bottom of the well. But every so often something happens to disturb the darkness. And in that moment, you realize that it is the unspeakable things that dwell down there that have their real power. The camaraderie, the surface. It's skin deep. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will not happen. Thank you. 
di ciò che dorme solo vengo a dormir contigo dormi ma ti scopoci King Ferdinand looks down on his kingdom of ants. His edict is clear. He wants the Jews out. Together with his wife, Isabella, they unleash the darkness. This is my home. My family, my roots in Serbia go back hundreds of years. Just where do they think they are sending us back to? The Jewish quarter echoes with memories most families have already left. Young girls spit in my face in the street, stones exploding through the windows. It's worse now, but the violence has always been there. That heart-stopping moment some 10, 12 years ago, my David, the powerless, scrawny boy. I sent him out to buy some bread. He comes home empty-handed, clothes torn, beaten to a pulp. I tried to hold him, to murmur comfort. But he pulls away. He knows I can't protect him from the next time. If only I had the courage to change it. But we both push it back under the rug. What can we do? Is the way things are. And so here I am. Now, 10th July, 1492, in Sevilla. Just 21 days to the end of time. The point of no return. My David is 20 now. The man of the household. He makes the decisions. He says it's time for us to leave. <sighs> Each night, I light the lamps. Take up my weaving. A twilight moment is timeless. Jewish, Christian, Muslim women. The languages, the customs are different, but we all spin our stories, tuning into each other, coming alive in each other's company through me. They all have a voice. of women's voices taking flight. Sometimes the women are so close I feel I could reach out and touch them. Others are a mere whisper. I hear the women's voices. Across the centuries they tell the stories of their lives and we are connected by the spinning, the twilight, and the melting pot that is the heritage of Al-Andalus. Mm. I hear Beatrice, daughter of King Alfonso the Wise. Her father's stories and music from his Cantigas de Santa Maria enliven my evenings. Rosa. Das Rosas, e fror das Flores, Donna das Donnas, Senor das Senores, Rosa de Beldade de Parecer, e fror d'Alegria, e de Señor, en toye, coy 
poetas y dores, rosa das rosas y flor das flores, dona das donas, señor das señores. My brother taught me to tune his oud, simply so he could start playing the melody straight away. Listening to those women and their different languages, it's like tuning an oud. I sit at my spinning wheel, as if to spin the magic of those voices with my hands. I close my eyes and listen. I let the sounds come to me. I latch on to them until the signal is clearer, until that moment of Perfection. When the whole world is tuned to one note, a consonance. I don't know how it happens, only that one day, when I was eight, after my mother had kissed me goodnight, I stole out of bed to the spinning wheel. As my fingers touched the wall, I heard Beatrice calling to me. The king's daughter calling to the potter's daughter. Beatrice, the illegitimate daughter of King Alfonso el Sabio the Wise from 200 years ago. Sevilla was their special city. It stirred Alfonso's romantic sensibilities. One of my favorite of his songs is about a pregnant abbess. Oh. An abbess is ensnared by the devil becomes pregnant by a man from Bologna. <gasps> oh. The abbess is strict with her nuns, so when they find out she is pregnant, they revel in her misfortune. They run straight to the bishop. The abbess prays to the Virgin Mary, who takes pity and removes the child, sends it away to be looked after. When the bishop arrives to inspect the abbess, oh! It's a miracle. No baby. The bishop gives those nuns a thorough telling on. <laughs> Por tu abadesa, fiesta madre.
Tabio, the wise, though I don't see he has any great monopoly on wisdom, or tolerance for that matter. Beatrice, though, won't hear a word against her father, no matter that her mother was merely a pleasant interlude, as Alfonso whiled away the years until his betrothed Yolant was old enough to marry. Alfonso was 19, and Yolant the tender age of four when they were betrothed. And well, a man simply can't wait that long. So the solution? A noble woman who is important enough, but not that important. Better. And if there are consequences, well, the consequences were Beatrice. Hey, Alfonso loves Beatrice's mother, but the years pass, he has to marry. Alfonso is fond of the daughter, Beatrice. He gives her lands, he organizes a good marriage for her to the king of Portugal. Hey, unfortunately, the king of Portugal is already married and the pope denounces their marriage as bigamous. And it doesn't help that he has nine mistresses. <gasps> oh, I mean the king of Portugal, not the pope. <laughs> His children, his heirs. Fate has outplayed him. His kingdom crumbles, and his children abandon him one by one, except Beatrice, who returns to comfort and nurse him to tell him stories. Together they huddle over his beloved chessboard.
This love song is a favorite down the ages with my sisters of the past. It's an Arabic song, steeped in the multicolored heritage of Al Andalus. Every time I hear it, I can smell the orange blossom. I close my eyes, and I am 15 again, and in love waiting at the window. But he's a Christian. When I hear his footsteps at last, when his eyes meet mine, I can hardly breathe. As she started to sway, her beauty drove me to distraction. I am a prisoner of her eyes. She, a tender branch, swaying in the breeze. That song, those words. If I half closed my eyes, could I be that young woman? Could I drive him to such distraction? And if I did, then what would happen? speaking. I'm rather in awe of her. I mean, here she is, from 300 years ago, 
a well-respected Sufi saint and spiritual advisor to the great poet and mystic Ibn Arabi. I'm just a widow. I'm not expecting the rabbi to come knocking at the door for spiritual guidance. Fatima was a poor woman, too, who earned her living at the spinning wheel. One day she lost a finger and she saw this as a sign from God. I would see it as a vexing nuisance. Fatima is reciting Ibn Arabi's poetry. You see in her a radiant goodness. Wild is she. None can make her his friend. Heresy, sedition. I will listen no longer to these subversive words. This music is from the infidel. Did you really think you were safe? Lighting your lamps, telling your stories, singing your songs, that I didn't hear you? Am I not a woman with power too? Ferdinand and I, we have united this country. We will imprint Catholicism deep through the soul of this nation. Jewesses, you have 21 days. Don't say I haven't warned you. Muslims, your time in this land is in the past. Our victory in Granada sealed your fate. Christians! Can you not see the danger of social interaction with these women? You listen to their music, their poetry. I have warned you, do not be tempted to harbor them. Stay true to the true faith. Is anyone still there? I will understand if you can't... Look, I didn't know how to tell you, but... I am leaving. We are all leaving. Tomorrow. Forever. Sevilla is my home. It's been home to countless generations of my family. It's not going to happen. It cannot happen. Not here. Open your eyes. See the fiction you have spun. It's over now. Beatrice, you are still there. Yes? Well, they can't object to Alfonso's cantigas. Songs of praise to the Virgin Mary. You can't get more Catholic than that. How about the cantiga about Maria's pilgrimage to Montserrat? Now, Maria is a wealthy Christian woman whose pilgrimage to the monastery at Montserrat is in the cantigas. She is not that bright. I mean, if you are traveling across mountainous territory that is notoriously bandit-ridden, do you go with all of your finery, gold and silver on display? Do you lay out a great picnic feast? It's only asking for trouble. And trouble it comes in the form of Raimundo, the wicked robber knight, and his band of hungry banditos. <laughs> we like chicken. They ride down from the hills, sending Maria and her entourage fleeing in terror. Remundo and the gang settled down to a hearty dinner. <laughs> we like chicken. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maria arrives at the monastery in Montserrat. She rushes to the chapel. Mary, Mother of God, Mary, Mother of God, avenge me for the wrongs these banditos have done to me. 
And sure enough, the banditos chop on the chicken bones. They become stricken with blindness. They vow never to rob again. And they become good Christians. <laughs>
In a dream, I was already on the boat to Morocco. It was cold, dark. I slept and woke to find the boat was coffin-shaped, a raft, and I was alone. The sea was a lake, clear and flat as glass, stretching to meet the dawn on the horizon. I realized that the water didn't feel cold or wet. I couldn't feel anything. And then I woke. Los bibilicos cantan con suspiros de amor. Mi As a child, I used to fly in my dreams. I sat with the birds on the great mosque looking down at the city. Now I see the kaleidoscopic pattern of time repeating itself. Isabella's edict is merely a pale copy of past strictures. Leonor is here. She lived in Sevilla too. She was here on 6th June, 1391. She was only 13. And it helped if you were small. Her mother crammed her into a store cupboard. Whatever happens, be silent, she said. Leonor heard them up as they hacked her mother, father, and brother to death. She put her hand in her mouth. She bit hard on her hand to stop herself from screaming out. They killed 4,000 Jews that day. Leonor survived. 
She sat there among the food stores, fruits pickled in jars, fermenting, ready to explode. No chairs, no. Sevilla was just the start. Two thousand bodies heaped in Cordoba streets. Toledo, Valencia, Barcelona. Two hundred thousand converged to Christianity. The conversos. <laughs> you have a choice, they say. Vincent Ferrer is a monk on a mission. He baptized Jews in their thousands. He pushed for laws to restrict Jews from trading of any kind, practicing medicine, taking public office, even acting as moneylenders. When his list ended, it didn't leave much. Ah. And no eating, drinking, or bathing with Catholics or intimate conversation. He means sex. <laughs> Jews are falling over themselves to be baptized. Two thirds converted. And now, 100 years on, in 1492, the contaminating contact between Catholics and Jews obsesses Isabella and Ferdinand. They stock up the Inquisition. The firewood has been laid neatly for them. You know what we are like? We are like the dirt gathering behind the stove in the furthest corner of your kitchen. You know you ought to, but it's too big a job, too difficult, so you leave it until one day. Ah. Alfonso El Sabio. The great liberal, even in his cantigas, Jews are, well, suspect. I mean, she's not quite nice, and she broke the law, you know. I don't know what exactly. Theft, probably. A piece of bread for her children. The point is, she's got to pay, so they're going to throw her off a cliff.
to the Virgin Mary. Mary, Queen of Heaven, the Christians believe in you, and I have heard that you will help even the most wicked of women. So I beg you, save me. Shouts, beware, these people are different. But love blossoms, no matter the edict, the slaughter, in the midst of such uncertainty and violence, love is urgent, visceral, my love. I see myself reflected in his eyes, transformed, Glittering, my Christian. But we come from different worlds. When will I see him again? There are songs that I hear at the twilight gatherings. Waves of the Sea of Vigo. Have you seen him? Waves of the rough sea. Have you seen my lover? Have you seen my friend, he for whom I sigh? Have you seen my lover, he who makes me wretched? Have you seen him, my friend, my lover? Pray to God he come back soon. I am the girl looking out to sea for her lover who never comes.
It's nearly dawn. The start of an uncertain future. In that last moment before the sunrise, I hear a voice. A voice I don't recognize. And another. And another and another and another and countless voices calling to me. Another gathering of women across space and time. We are a wandering race, united by our longing for the lost world of the Iberian Peninsula. A song of loss, of love. They call me the Dark One, although I was born fair. I have taken my marriage vows. I cannot go with you. But if the king's son were to call on me again, I will go with him. The first of many songs. I hear you. I hear you. That same resonance. That perfection. When the whole world is tuned to one note. A consonance.
ונקי, איזו בהר. 